Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we're gonna be installing and taking a look at the Whitestone Dome Glass for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. This is also available for the S20 and the S20 Plus, and this is a screen protector that I pretty much use on all of my devices. I can always trust it to protect my display. It always does a very good job. So this one's got that full ultrasonic recognition, full clarity, full coverage, and full filling, and it also comes with that adhesive curing UV light. So as you can see, I already got everything set up right here, ready to go to go ahead and install this screen protector. First thing we want to do is make sure our device is powered off. So let me go ahead and power this off. Boom, powering off right there. Okay, so now that the device is powered off, the next thing you wanna do is take off that pre-installed screen protector that comes on the device out of the box. So let me go ahead and peel this screen protector off. It's gonna be a thin film screen protector. Boom, okay, the display is nice and clean as you see in there, but before we start installing it, you still wanna make sure it's clean either way. Even though you peel that pre-existing screen protector off, it's gonna look clean, but you still want to make sure you clean it yourself with what they provide in the box here. They got some moist towelettes here and then a cloth. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the stuff out of the bag so we can go ahead and wipe that down. All right, so I got my wet wipe here. Let me go ahead and clean this display really, really good. Make sure there's no fingerprints, no smudges, anything like that. That. All right, and that looks clean to me, looking really good. I don't see any fingerprints, anything like that. So now what we wanna do, let me go ahead and throw this over to the side. Let's go ahead and get our dry cloth and let's go ahead and dry that display so it's not wet from that wet wipe that we have there. Looking good, all right, so I'm gonna set that down there. Next, what we wanna do is take these stickers that they give us here, dust absorber. So let me go ahead and take this off. And what you wanna do is just go around your display, making sure there's no dust that has fallen onto it. Now you wanna try to do this in a dust-free environment. The more dust you have around you, the harder it's going to be to get this perfect without any air bubbles or anything like that. It's looking good to me. I don't see any dust on the display. So looking good, let me go ahead and set this back over to the side. So next, what we're gonna do is set this into the tray here. All right, so I got everything out of the tray. I'm just gonna set that right in there just like that. And then next, what we wanna do is take these stickers right here this is going to be for the earpiece up there so you don't get any of that adhesive in there. So let me go ahead and try to do this very carefully just right over the earpiece. There we go. You don't want to get it too much on the display itself because you don't want to risk getting it under the screen protector once you apply it. So that is looking pretty good to me. There we go. So once we get that on next, what we are going to do is go ahead and take these little adhesive bottles out. And then we are going to get our top cover here Put that right on top just like that and then once that top piece is on they provide this little piece right here which you're going to slide right up top just like that and then once you have that on what we're going to do now is take these two little foam pieces that they provide and you want to make sure to slide them in perfectly here onto the sides they got two little slots there to go ahead and slide them in and this is going to prevent that adhesive from sliding down over the sides to the back of your device so make sure you got those in there nice and good so at this point once you got those in there we're going to take our bridge and just set it right on top into these two little slots right there. And then we're gonna take our adhesive bottles. Now they give us two, just in case you happen to mess up the first time, you can remove the screen protector, clean it, and do it all over again. That is why they provide the second one. So we're not gonna need this right now, unless we happen to mess up. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the side for now. Oh, rolling back over here. So what we wanna do is go ahead and remove the red cap here. So that's what I'm going to do here. Take this off. And there we go, set that to the side. Now we can go ahead and set this right into the hole right here on the bridge. Boom, just like that. Now what we wanna do at this point is go ahead and take off the black part. Now before you do this, you wanna make sure to do it on a flat surface because once that adhesive releases, if it's if your surface isn't flat, if it's going this way, going that way, the adhesive will start to run down in whatever direction it is. So right now I did make sure I am on a flat surface. Hopefully it's flat, it looks flat to me. Let me go ahead and remove this top black part here. Boom, there we go. As you can see, that adhesive is starting to come out of the little bottle. So I'm gonna wait about uh, 30 seconds to a minute, make sure all that adhesive is out. Sometimes I make sure to just kind of tap the top here to make sure it's out. But let me wait a little bit and make sure it's all out of the bottle. Okay, so now that all the adhesive is out, I went ahead and grabbed a cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and kind of carry it over with the cloth just in case any spills out. You don't want that spilling anywhere else. There we go, set it over there to the side. Okay, so that's all set and ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our screen protector 
and peel off this sticker here, just like that. And then you wanna make sure you have this the right way. You don't wanna put it on upside down by accident. You can kind of tell by the curves on the edges. So we're gonna just place it right on the bottom there and then just let it fall. Oops, kinda wanna center it as best as possible. There we go. It'll fall into, once you get it pretty much centered, it'll fall right into place. That is what this whole setup is for, to make sure you get it nice and accurate, nice and centered on your Galaxy device. So what we do at this point, now I don't really use this piece right here, but they do provide it kind of as a guide and as a weight as well to help spread that adhesive evenly among your display. But for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use this in case there are those of you who do want to use this. So what we're going to do is take these two little pieces sticking out down here and set them right into a slot. They have two little slots right here down at the bottom. Just set those right in there. Be very careful and just lay it right on the screen protector. Now this is what's holding that screen protector from falling down and landing on that adhesive. Now how this works as a guide, you can see there is a little circle right here in the middle. What we're gonna do is apply pressure down at the bottom, let that adhesive run down right to that middle part. And then once it does, we're gonna pull this top piece out let go of the pressure and then that adhesive will spread evenly among your display. Now, like I said, you want to make sure you do this on a flat surface. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna apply pressure to the bottom. Boom, just like that. And then once it gets to that circle in the middle, right about there, boom, there we go. So you wanna give it about a minute or two, make sure it spreads evenly all throughout the display. And as you can see here, it kind of slid down a little bit. So you can kind of push it up a little bit right there kind of adjust it yourself if you want you really want to make sure that you do get it centered so it's looking good right there to me so i'm going to go ahead and wait about a minute or two let it spread and then i will be right back all right awesome so it looks good to me it's all spread out nice and evenly so at this point we can go ahead and take off this top part very carefully go ahead and set that over to the side and then what we can do now is take our uv light what we're going to do as you can see it has a little button right here in the back to turn it off and on. We're gonna leave it on for 30 seconds at the top, 30 seconds in the middle, and then 30 seconds on the bottom. So let me go ahead and start my 30 seconds on the top here. All right, now we got 30 seconds in the middle. Now what this is doing is curing that adhesive under the screen protector to help it bond with your display. That is why we use this and it helps keep it nice and secure on there. So this is a really good thing for the screen protector. It's not gonna, you don't have to worry about it popping off or anything like that. It's gonna stay on there nice and secure. All right, that's 30 seconds for the middle. Now 30 seconds for the bottom. Okay, so that was 30 seconds for the bottom as well. So at this point, we can go ahead and take this top piece off here. Go ahead and set that over to the side. We can remove this top sticker we had up here protecting that earpiece, set that to the side, and then we can go ahead and take our device out. Let me set that right there. Now, what we wanna do is take this towelette, another wet towelette right here, and just clean around the edges of the display because sometimes the adhesive will kind of seep out the edges here on the side. So you kinda of wanna just go ahead and go around it Make sure you clean it really good before we move on to the next step. As you can see right there, a little bit did come out. So all you gotta do is just clean it with the wet towel here and it comes right off as you can see there. All right, look at that, looking really good. I don't see any air bubbles, anything like that. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any dust in there. I'm actually really proud of myself. I did a really good job with this one. All right, so at this point, the next step, what I'd like to do is I'll take my thumb and put it over the area where this fingerprint sensor is and just hold it there, put a little bit of pressure there and just hold it for 30 seconds or about 30 seconds. And what this is going to do is just help it bond a little bit better in that area so it works better when you're using the in-display fingerprint sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it for about 30 seconds. Okay, so that was 30 seconds. So now what we wanna do is take our UV light once again and just do another 30 seconds on the top and 30 seconds in the middle and then 30 seconds on the bottom to help it cure a little bit more. Okay, so that was 30 seconds on the top, middle, and bottom. So what I wanna do now is turn on the device. We're gonna test it out with the fingerprint sensor to see just how well it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it power up here. All right, so here we go, moment of truth. Now it does say to re-register your fingerprint after putting this on, but I wanna see if it's going to work either way if I don't register my fingerprint first. So let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, nope, seems how, oh, it worked that time. Let's try it one more time. Oh, it worked again. Oh, it seems to be working just fine without even registering my fingerprint. Look at that. Let's try one more time. 
All right, now let's see how well it will work if I do re-register my fingerprints. So let me go ahead and go into my settings here, biometrics and security, go down to fingerprints, and let's set up another fingerprint. Let's register another one. So I'm gonna do this really quick. Actually, let's see how well it does it with this screen protector on. Seems to be registering it just fine. Look at that. Not having any problems there. Working good, almost there, almost there. 80%, oh, get a full scan, let's do it again, let's keep going, let's keep going, almost there, oh, there we go again. All right, 100%, so we went ahead and registered another fingerprint, let's try this again, actually the same fingerprint. Boom, again, boom, boom. So it's actually working like there is no screen protector on the device, it's actually working really good, look at that. One more time, one more time. Boom, all right, so there it is. Look at that, working really, really good, even though there is a screen protector on there. So what I wanna do now is test it out with the case. I got three different cases here. I got one from Rinky, one from Caseology, and then one from Subcase, which is actually a more of a bulkier case. So let's go ahead and try out the Caseology case here. Slap that right in there. And it seems to fit just fine. Look at that, you can see there is a gap, a little small gap right there at the top and then a small gap at the bottom, I believe. Yeah, it's not touching the case at all. So it seems like it fits on there really good. It's going to be case friendly. Let's go ahead and try out another case here. Try out the one from Rinky. This is the Camo Black Fusion X. So yeah, this is case friendly with this one as well. It's not touching the edges or the top or the bottom so looking really good with this case as well let's go ahead and try the bulky boy over here so this one is actually a two-piece case we're going to put this top part on first and this is basically going to tell us alone if it's going to be compatible with this screen protector and yeah it actually looks like it's going to be good i see a gap there at the top and it doesn't really seem to be hitting the edges of that screen protector. Oh, I don't know if you can tell here on camera, but there is a small gap right there where it is not touching this top piece of the screen protector. But you know what? I'll go ahead and put it in anyways because this back piece might squeeze it a little bit. Let's see here. Let's see if I squeeze the sides. Let's see if it'll pop the screen protector up at all, cause any air bubbles on the sides. And no, I don't see anything. It is looking really, really good. So it's actually going to be compatible with a bulky case like this as well. So if you were worried about this not being case friendly, you are not going to have to worry. So there we have it, the Whitestone Dome Glass on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. As you can see, it works well with the fingerprint sensor. It is case friendly. It looks good. You can't even tell it's on the device and it's going to protect that display very, very well. Now it does go for around $50 on Amazon and if you want a two pack that one goes for around $70 on Amazon so another 20 bucks to get two instead of one now I know that is a high price but honestly I think it's worth it because if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a device like especially a device like this for how much it costs you want to invest in a good screen protector that's going to protect that display because if you don't have a good screen protector on there you can possibly damage that display so you want to make sure you're going to get something that you can trust and take my word for it I use these all the time and I definitely trust these a lot with my display. This is my go-to screen protector. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections below of this whole installation process. What do you think about the screen protector itself? If you have one for yourself, let me know how it's been holding up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment sections below. But thank you so very much for watching. If you do find yourself interested in this screen protector, I'll make sure to drop a link down in the description below. And if you find yourself interested in the cases I have right here, I'll make sure to drop links for those down in the description below as well. But make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you did like it and find it helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thank you so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.